Once again, state lawmakers are having a hard time agreeing on how to pay for road and bridge construction. 411 traffic cones lined the steps of the Capitol yesterday, representing the people, number of people who died in crashes in 2015. Organizers say it's a reminder of the danger of not passing a transportation funding bill. Politicians agree it's the most pressing problem facing the state right now. Democrats are again calling for a 10 cent gas tax hike to pay for the fixes. Republicans want to use the cash from the state's $1.6 billion budget surplus and the general fund. We just don't feel that raising taxes when we have a substantial surplus is, is necessary. Uh, and we don't feel that most citizens in Minnesota want to pay more taxes when, we, when they see the surplus that's sitting there. This could be a delay of many more years and every year we have not done something the system gets more eroded, it gets more costly. The transportation bill is just one of billions of dollars of spending bills in the legislature that is just beginning to debate. They are less than five weeks left in the session. There are less than five weeks left in the session. Not much time. No, WCC Chief Political mm -hmm. Reporter Pat Kessler joins us now. Pat, the chances the Republican House and the Republican Senate pass a gas tax hike? Like zero uh, percent say, chance, or yeah, uh, I'd say less than zero. Less than zero, yeah. That's I mean, what it's looking like. On. I mean, yeah, they have uh, uh, opposed this for quite some time, and they make the case, and there's some good arguments to be made, uh, not just on a financial end, but where are we going with our transportation system? Uh, cars are more efficient. Uh, should we keep paying for roads with a gas tax? The more you drive, the more you pay. So that's one of the things. What we're seeing here at the Capitol, though, is more than just about efficiency and the marketplace. We're now hearing arguments that if we don't do something very quickly, this is dangerous. You saw all of those traffic cones lined at the Capitol. Yeah. That was pretty dramatic. Pretty dramatic. 411 yes. of them, all of those representing a person who died on the roads. That's what I think we're going to be seeing soon. Pat, I don't think that anyone expects the budget to be done early when we get into these legislative sessions, but five weeks left, is that enough time to actually come together and find an yeah. agreement? You know, think about this. This is a 40 plus billion dollar budget. They have been doing this since January, but they're all going to come together in just the last five weeks. If this was a corporation, think about it, a 45 billion dollar corporation, I mean, this is big stuff. Everything here, education, how we fix our roads, how we pay for public safety, every single thing that happens in government has to be decided now in the next five weeks. And if they don't, the government just shuts down. Yeah. It's happened before under Governor Dayton and Republicans' legislators. And let's say they don't get done, they're going to have to do something pretty quick here. Pat, uh, today the Senate will take a final vote on preemption. Yep. This is basically where the state legislature is saying, we don't want cities passing their own minimum wage, their own yep. work rules, this kind of stuff. Yeah, that's going to be up here. Very controversial. A lot of folks uh, opposing this bill. A lot of folks say that cities should be allowed to do this. The cities themselves, Minneapolis and St. Paul, would like to raise the wage of workers in their cities to 15 bucks an hour. But businesses are saying that we can't have a patchwork of regulations. You can't have one uh, minimum wage in Minneapolis and another one in Blue Earth County. So that's why they say they have to end this. Already we are seeing protesters here at the Capitol. They're going to pack the Senate. That is going to be a very big vote today as the Senate and the House meet both of them to continue the work of the session. Okay, thanks Pat. Yep, we'll you see bet. what the governor does after they pass it. Pat will have updates from the Capitol coming today on the news at five and six. All right, we've